Social protection schemes in developing countries tend to operate in silos. Researchers at Rotterdam's Erasmus University, the German Development Institute in Bonn and Addis Ababa University studied projects in Ethiopia which have rejected the silo mentality. The study found that by operating alongside one another, schemes created benefits greater than the sum of their individual outcomes. The two flagship government projects are in rural areas which lack food security. One is a healthcare programme which protects households against medical costs. The other is a public work scheme which pays people to work on community projects. The Community-Based Health Insurance Scheme, CBHI, was started in 2011 to increase access to medical care and reduce the financial impact of health emergencies on family budgets. For a premium of 0.5% of household income, families receive unlimited outpatient and inpatient medical care. Thanks to its success, the scheme now covers 2 million households. The Productive Safety Net Programme, PSNP, was launched in 2005 to help reduce families' dependence on emergency food aid. By paying people for additional off-farm work, for example building wells or digging terraces to reduce soil erosion, it helps to move households to a more secure, cash-based form of social protection. The schemes have been the subject of meticulous research, particularly regarding their effect on healthcare utilisation, off-farm labour, livestock assets and levels of borrowing. Most importantly, researchers found that participation in both projects yielded substantial additional benefits. Researchers also noted that, even though the schemes are not formally linked, village-level officials recognised their complementarity and promoted them. The study's findings are significant for social protection schemes worldwide. Linking programmes enhances protection against multiple risks, and benefits are greater when programmes are coordinated and combined.